Yo, what's going on everyone? So, uh, as you can tell, there was a huge controller update. Huge controller update. And, you know what, the first thing we should actually just do is go into the patch notes. So, let's go read those. Alright, patch notes. We're gonna just read the controller things, of course. Uh, PS4, hold on, wait. No, no, no. You can now view and change edit controls separately from combat and build controls in the controller menu. Pretty self-explanatory. Uh, PS4 controller's lighting will match the player marker color. Pretty cool. Uh, you can now set building mode sensitivity for controllers in the options menu. It is a multiplier on the default controller sensitivity and allows up to a two two times increase. So, huge for building set. That's crazy. Building sensitivity can be two times the amount of of regular controller sensitivity slider in the options menu now allows for more than 10 values now it doesn't have to be just 8 sensitivity you can actually change it to like a higher amount of 8 or like a lower amount of 8 there's not just one number there's like little increments which is dope because I thought that's how it was even when the game started but it took me months later to figure out that it's it was really just 8-8 eight, eight. there's no higher amount of 8 and now now they changed it Added an option, the Builder Pro, that allows for building as soon as you switch to the piece instead of selecting first and then placing. This allows for faster building without preview. So, alright, so they added the instant edit we were talking about a few weeks ago. That's interesting. Uh, added an option that allows for edit hold timing to be adjusted, so if you want to hold for edit, you can, uh, you can make your own timing. Uh, opening... The emote picker with a controller will happen when the button is released while holding the button will replay the emote that was played last. Okay. Big change. Big update epic. What? I didn't see this coming. Alright, so this isn't going to be like my finalized video of all of my controller settings. But uh, I can tell you what I'm going to try first. I'm probably going to move my x up a little bit and then i'm gonna move my y down so these settings probably won't stay but i'm just gonna try that out to start i'm gonna put my building sense to sure point 1.36 oh yeah that's crazy that's crazy that you can do this now Alright, so I wasn't actually recording with sound earlier, I didn't realize, but now I am, so we're good. Um, the Builder, look at, okay, so this is the setting, Builder Pro, build immediately, tried turning it on, so we're just going to test this out, see what it feels like, I already did test it out, but there's no sound, but it's pretty insane, like, if you can't do this, you 100% will be able to. If you weren't able to do this, you might be able to. Definitely going to be a game changer for certain people. I'm probably not going to leave it on. I doubt I'll use this at all. But regardless, it's still cool. Ah. Uh, oh, that's chill. Whatever. Let's uh, try messing around with it. It's definitely instant. It uh just happened and just kind of builds so but anyways i think that's all i got for you guys um be sure to use code face one in the item shop if you want to if you want to support me it's part of the support a creator event that epic's running um doesn't cost you anything extra it just actually lets them know that you're supporting me and they end up giving they're giving certain creators money for a certain amount of people using their code so it's a pretty cool thing but anyways uh like i said that's all that's all i got for you thanks for tuning in uh i'm gonna mess around with these settings and probably get 
like an updated settings video out there pretty soon. But anyways, take care everyone.